Hello and welcome to my new guide and in this guide I will show you how to install and how to actually use and the split screen mod in Minecraft so to start to start you'll need to go into this site and of course it will be in the description and after you go into this site you'll need to go to to find this the bat file and the launcher jar and then you'll need to download these obviously now let's start downloading and after you download both of these I just open them in the folder more comfortable okay so next you'll need to make a new folder and call this folder however you want let's just call it new folder so next thing is to just move the run and then open a new folder and call it bin of course you can use another name by changing the batch file but it's really much quicker to just make a new bin folder so the next thing you'll want to do is to actually use the bin folder and then just log in into your minecraft account and I'm not sure if you can actually use it for uh, for cracked users but there's probably a way though I'm not too sure about it so um, after after you finish downloading it okay so after you finished let's let, get out of it and then you'll see the dot minecraft bean and nvidia I'm not sure why it's there so after you did it so the next thing you want to do is to download minecraft 1.3.2 because that's the only version that the mod actually works to except 1.2.5 so let's download it and minecraft okay minecraft jar 1.3.2 okay so let's see and I should have really <laughs> looked for a website to download before but I know that I'll find it here so the jar client and kip okay so let's just wait for it to finish downloading while well, I'll explain a little about the mod about the mod itself so what the mod lets you do is to play split screen with someone else on the same computer and what you need to do to for, to use this is a joypad, an original Minecraft, at least one, of course, and a computer that can actually run two Minecrafts at the same time. So, okay, it's about to finish downloading, and okay, that there you go. Now all you need to do is to go into the new folder that you've created and go into the dot minecraft bin and then just drag the minecraft jar into it and replace okay so the next thing you want to do is to go into the same site and now look for look for this and click the joypad mod and you'll, now you'll see the download. Now from here you can actually download the mod itself. As you can see, I've downloaded it. Now, what you want to do after downloading the mod is to go to the dot Minecraft bin, then open Minecraft with WinRAR with WinRAR Archiver, and you don't need any mod loader, so just delete the meta inf and move the joypad mod here and this one as you after you go into it you'll see the minecraft just go into it and drag everything into the minecraft jar so after you've done it now you'll need to go again to the run and this time it doesn't actually matter if you actually use um, an original account so now um, you'll need to connect um, a joypad so let me just connect mine and that should work so now I made a little mistake I need to put the joypad in before but let's just go again okay so the next thing you'll want to do is to go into this file 
and now as you can see there are f it shows a few controllers I'm not sure why just look for yours as you can see found control USB gamepad 4 it has 12 buttons 5 axes now after you found this go into options controller settings and let's see okay so it's not here I remember that it was here so anyway now the next thing is go to Minecraft options and now you'll want to look for the joy no so after you checked what your number was then just put the number mine was four so I'll put four and now I'll just rerun the batch file and let's try again now let's try it okay single player create new world and let's see how it works okay so now that it finished and well you can actually see it but right now I'm playing with my joypad and of course the keys are really uncomfortable and it's really annoying and for some reason I'm not sure why it clicks automatically of course there is a solution so uh, as you can see right now I'm not touching it and it's moving alone so of course there is a solution to this just go into options control something and constant camera movement just p change it to true and now let's try it again so uh, okay it has a different controls than the original one but okay it's really loud <laughs> let me just turn it down okay now, it has really annoying controls of course you can change it and you really should because these are some really annoying controls so let me try try to change them and show you draw a mapping now as you can see you use the Z axis to attack and let's try putting in the square button and the use in the in the uh, O button and the open inventory in the triangle and the jump X so as you can see it shows buttons and this is pretty annoying so after a while you just put the buttons and it will work of course so that's pretty much how you install it and now the last part on how to pl actually play it on multiplayer on multiplayer on split screen so you'll need just to go into your original minecraft play offline this one should already be on version 1.3.2 and now you'll go into the run and you know wait okay so you if you're uh, if you've already done that thing um, migrated your account then you won't actually be able to use your email because it's too long so now let's go into the new world we've created okay so now you don't actually need to create a new server or anything just open to LAN and start LAN world now it was this and <laughs> yeah that's not the problem it's my control it really sucks for some reason I'm not sure why I mean it's pretty old so anyway you'll just go into the multiplayer multiplayer and as you can see there's a LAN world and I'm in now let's look for myself um, let's see where I am anyway okay so I'm next to the squid there and as you can see I'm here attacking myself and as you can see it really works and it's really awesome because the vanilla Minecraft never actually suggested any any real you know split screen and this mod actually does it even though there are a few huge annoying stuff about this mod and one of them it's it's not compatible with most mods the other one is for, for version 132 which means no wither and no tons of 145 and 140 and 141 and all these and uh, all those awesome features like the new boss the new skeletons and stuff like that so it's you biggest biggest con if you ask me is because of you have to put in a small screen unless you have two screens of course then you won't actually see most of your items as you can see right now I can not see the sampling so 
anyway this is how you just put it you are just install it guys i hope you like the video please like subscribe and i hope i'll see you on my next video thanks for watching